Dr. Digvijay Singh done his education from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, having spent more than 12 years there and then moved on to Medanta for the last three and a half years prior to starting this eye center, Noble Eye Care. There are a lot of eye diseases that are now getting more and more prominence in the pediatric age group. Children seem to be getting more and more glasses now. A lot of children, if you go to, if you go to a classroom, you'll realize that a large majority of the children are actually wearing spectacles. This has happened more so over the last one or two decades. A lot of studies have shown that increased indoor activities including the television watching and the screen time is leading to this possibly an epidemic of myopia or nearsightedness. It is very important for us to screen the children timely so that we are able to pick up this problem. Another common problem that we are facing in children is eye allergies. Because of the increased pollution and the increased suspended particular ma particulate matter in the air, we are noticing that a lot of children are having itching and they are rubbing their eyes and redness in the eyes. This is all a result of eye allergy. It is very important to get this child treated soon because excessive rubbing of the eyes could also lead to the development of a problem in the cornea and could lead to him requiring glasses in the future. Also, rubbing of the eyes can in the long run harm the child's eyes and lead to a change in the shape of the cornea. Therefore, it is very important that such a child be taken to an eye doctor and started on treatment. Treatment is usually in the form of eye drops or occasionally in the form of some cold compresses with ice on the eyelids. These eye drops generally lead to good relief, but allergies in children and particularly eye allergies tend to come back. Very often they are seasonal. And with every change of season, the child will often develop this and requires a regular follow-up with an eye doctor. Another important problem in children is squint. Squint is referring to misalignment of the two eyes, when both the eyes are looking in different directions. This is something that initially was ignored in the earlier part of this previous century. This was something that was ignored for many years earlier. But now, there is a proper know-how of squint and the harm it does. In today's day, when there is a need for us to see with both eyes together, binocularly, if the child has a squint, then the child is not seeing from one of the eyes. That eye would usually be suppressed or it could go into a permanent lazy eye. If the child is seeing only with one eye, then he does not have depth perception or stereoacuity. You can imagine how important it is for us to differentiate between when things are closer to us when things are further away from us and if you cannot see in depth then basic tasks every day such as catching a ball walking down the stairs or driving a car can be difficult therefore this squint needs to be treated early as beyond a certain age usually about five years or seven years of age at best the deaf perception does not recover children with squint need to be taken to a pediatric eye surgeon as soon as possible they often require surgery, but prior to that, a proper refraction to look at the correct power of glasses and sometimes patching therapy may also be required. Squint is also seen in adults. In fact, a lot of the adults are those who have missed, been missed out when they were children, but there are forms of squint that appear to come in adults first. These could be intermittent squints which means that the squint appears sometimes and then disappears at other times or these could be because of a certain nerve paralysis. These squints again often would require exercises of the eye or eye surgery. You must visit a squint specialist in case you feel that you have a squint or advise somebody who has a squint to visit a squint specialist since many a times such a patient may not know this himself. 